another D-Roy Cruz Your Life Applications video. Um, drink all my juice. Um, I'm sitting here watching, this is off the subject. I'm sitting here, I just got through this out there. I'm sitting here watching, what is this? America's Got Talent. And Britain's Got Talent. And one of the things I've noticed about, oh, that's funny. <laughs> I took, found a way to blow up a balloon and put it on his head. That's, you know, make it like a hat. That's funny. Where the heck do you get a balloon like that? Anyway, that is funny. Um... I might have to turn this off and put something else on. Woo, she looks pretty like that. Wow, I pulled that magic trick. Um, the stuff that you can get people to do on TV, you know, now I realize where her acting career got her where she's at when he did that little trick. But anyway, I'm sitting here watching us. And I might have to. This is all comedy. I'm a comedy freak. And they're not even. I can't. I don't even have the sound on. And they're tripping me out. Like just by the way they're dressed and stuff. Like oh my god. Anyway, let here. Let me. Let 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 me. Let me. <laughs> wait, let me turn this off, man. Put something else on. Uh, maybe atheism. Here, yeah, that's what that's what I'll do. I'll put atheism in there, because atheism doesn't make me laugh. It kind of ticks me off, okay? It's kind of dumb, okay? Oh, look at this jack behind. Uh, what is this? Uh, Garvis, Jarvis, Jarvis is his name. What a dummy. Yeah, yeah, I'll put him on and turn the sound down, because I really don't want to hear nothing he got to say. Okay? Jarvis. What a tool bag. Anyway, I'm sitting here watching... Uh, America's Got Talent, and uh, where does Howard Stern come in as a judge over somebody else's talent? Where does Howard Stern get the judge? other people's talents. Think about that. Think about Howard Stern's history. Now, back in the day when Howard Stern came out, I, I was a youngster watching MTV. And when he started making it big on TV, and this goes all the way back to me being a youngster watching MTV. And I used to love to watch his show, um, his most controversial one, which... I think he grew out of that now. Don't don't quote me, educate me. Don't quote me, educate me, because I don't know. Where he would bring porn stars on a show and stuff like that, because back in the day I was a porn freak also. MTV, MTV freak, porn freak. You know, before I became, before I rededicated my life to the Lord, I was in all that, you know. I've never seen Howard Stern sing a song. I've never seen him do even a comedy act. The heck happened to his face? Did you ever do something to his face? Anyway, I've never seen Howard Stern do a com a comedy act other than bringing funny people like Beetlejuice on a show, okay? Or you know, bringing some stand-up comedian on a show. Or him making fun of other comedians or other TV stars. And I've never seen him sing a song. My point is, my point is, you got all these people today in 2019. You got young people who, yes, they went to college. And they got a lot of degrees. Let me tell you something. When my cousins went to college, till this day, they don't cuss like a sailor. They don't dress like a bum. You never catch my cousins with holes in their jeans. 
And what is it with like the green hair? Like who finds that attractive? Green slimy hair. That's the new beauty of women, and most of these women are probably feminists. If you ask them, if you say something to them about the green hair, they'll probably let you know you're a fe they're, that they're feminists, and you'll back off like, whoa, that explains everything. Thank you very much. Have a nice day, ma'am. Okay? But I, I'm just like, like, I mean, you don't even see girls with green hairs most of the time here in Pittsburgh anyway with boyfriends. They're just just there, like, you know, and then, like, you got the holes in the jeans, you got, you got the ears pierced in, like, seven different places, now they got them earrings, where you got a hole this big in your freaking earlobe, okay, and you get one of them little round things, and you place right in there, even some Christians are doing that stupid nonsense today, but put a big old earring like that, that makes your ears stick out like this. I'm like, <sighs> now I gotta admit, I gotta admit, the new earrings and the new swag and the holes in the jeans and all like that, there's more of that today and less than all these different piercings. Like, I mean, just a few years ago, people were wearing piercings that go down the side of your face. Yeah, I mean, I seen a guy have a piercing that went into his face and up over his eye like this. You know what I mean? With the, I don't even, you know what I'm saying? Like his face was pierced in, okay, let me get to the video. Because I'm going to have to do a video on this stuff. But my point is, this stuff proves the fallen state. If you have a pen and a piece of paper. I don't mean to sound like Jesse Lee Peterson because me and Jesse Lee Peterson have two different opinions about the term fallen state. A fallen state to me, and this really goes on my part two of my morality video, since atheists don't understand what morality is, but, and it's a Christian term, it's not a secular term, it's a Christian term. So how, so in order for you to even talk about morality, you need to be a Christian. How do you, okay, that, that's that video. But, let me get to the video. I'm, I'm lost, I lost my train of thought. Good, because I want to get to what I want to talk about, because it's not going to take long at all. I keep getting these comments in my comments section, and other goofballs on YouTube who record my videos. They love to say, uh, somebody help me out please. What is a real atheist? An atheist doesn't know what a real atheist is. That is very, very interesting. An atheist doesn't know what a real atheist is. I know what a real Christian is, but you don't know what a real atheist is. See, a real Christian is someone who does not do anything by feeling or personal opinion. But he does everything by the word of God. Okay. He does everything. Let me make it clear. He does everything by his own convictions to the word of God. He does everything by his own of convictions to the word of God. That is a real Christian. He doesn't do anything by feeling. He might feel gay. He might feel like he want to be a woman. He might feel like he wants to just totally hate homosexuals and just kill them wherever he finds them. He might feel like he wants to give the most 
innocent person on this bus a piece of his mind just for sitting there looking stupid. But he doesn't do anything by what he feels because he's been born again. He rebukes those feelings and he chooses to live righteously for God because he is a life applications officer like myself and he does everything according to the word of God not by his feelings see see the the LGBTQ a a for atheists they're all together like most of these atheists half of them at least half of them if they're not already gay they will be gay by the time I get done doing this video because that's why they defend it so much. How do you defend people you don't know nothing about? Unless you've ever laid down and spent the night with a homosexual. How can you tell me to have a conversation with them before I judge? I can understand why a woman would want me to have a conversation before I judge a woman. Okay? Or, uh, or a man telling a woman... You need to have a conversation with a man before you judge him. But do or feminist be, did a woman have a conversation with a man before she decided to become a feminist? Did 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 a guy that thinks he's a woman that he can transform into a woman? Did he did he have a conversation with real women or real men? Before he decided to transform himself into something else. There are real men out there. There are real alpha males out there. And they're alpha males for two reasons. Number one, they're male. It's plain and simple. They're male and they never had a problem with being that. Two, they're alpha males because they grew up with a dad that did not... Pay attention to his feelings. That's the difference between an alpha male and a beta male. An alpha male does not pay attention to personal feelings. He gets to the point. Are we going hunting today or what are we doing? Okay, I don't have time to worry about my feet. Okay, nothing's bleeding. Give me the boots. Let's go. Give me the gun. Let's go. Let's do this. Well, son, you, you uh, let, come on, Dad. Let's, let's do this. We're going to go hunting. You, you want to do this? Let's do it. Well, hunt, son, uh, you, you're kind of scared. You told me you were scared. Yeah, I am scared. Let's go. Let, let's do this. I don't care. Okay? That's an alpha male. How do you... How do you finish your service in the military and come out a better male? How do you finish your service in the military? I got to check something here. Hold on. Hold on. I might be wrong about something here. I got to check something. I got to check. Because I might be. I got to check. I listened a little bit too much. Jesse P Lee, Lee Peterson. I got to check here. Okay. I was right. Okay. 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 I'm right. Know what I'm talking about. I just wanted to know, make sure I know what I'm talking about. Let me ask that again. Now, why did you have, okay. We're back to ugly behind Jarvis. Okay, now, and I'm just doing this because I don't like when my computer times out on me and then I got to, you know, because I might want to look up something while I'm talking or something. So I, I need it. I need to put a video on there to keep it running. Here he is making a complete a hole out of himself. Okay, making fun of children's creation books. G kiss my behind, man. Anyway, you know, like I tell you, when I tell you that these atheists, 
like this bull crap right here. When I tell you that these atheists are a bunch of thugs, they are the most criminally minded people on the universe. Trust me. I'm what? I'm, I, am, am I blind? Am I not seeing this? Him criticizing children's creation books. Like children's creation books are making children go out and bully other kids. Or children's creation books are going out there and... Okay, let me finish with the video. Anyway, I'm going to end up... Sorry, drag. I'm going to end up doing a video on this piece of trash right here. Okay? But be prepared. Because it's in my history now. When I go... There he goes. Like, what, what did I say? What did I say? What did I say? I don't even have the sound on and I can tell what he's talking about. He's showing pictures of what he's talking about. <sighs> okay. How does a person who has joined the military come out as a better male? How does a soldier, after all that intense training, become a better male? You would think that cops, military people, um, UFC fighters, um, football players, basketball players, well, basketball players, that's not so rough. But you would think that anything where people have to really get in there and get their hands dirty and really use some muscle and some strength, you know, to do what they what they do, you would think they would come out better males. But the truth of the matter is that's not what makes a makes a better male. Okay, I mean I'm sorry. The truth of the matter is that's I meant to say alpha male. The truth of the matter is that's not what makes a person an alpha male. You can go to the military all you want to. You can go to school and study all the science you want to. That does not make you an alpha male. Because an alpha male is not only experience, it's taught. It's taught. Because by nature, we all don't come out feeling like we're ready to do what our big brother does or our little brother does. By nature, we all don't have big hands. We all don't have big feet. By nature, we're not all coming out, and by the time we're 15 years old, we weigh 100 and some pounds. It's not like that for everybody. Okay? By nature, I might be the same weight level and height level with somebody, and if I punch him in his chest, it feels like paper, but when he punches me in my chest, it feels like a hurricane, okay? And that has nothing to do with, we, we may be twin brothers, okay? It's just a natural thing to where you have to be taught the right things in order to be the right things. You have to be taught the right things in order to be a right thing. Is it important? To be an alpha male or a beta male. It's important to be an alpha male. Because a beta male. Gets lost between what is a woman. And what is a man. Let me let me look that up. Go back to where I was at. Where is it? Where I let it go? You dumb behind. You get on my last nerve. Stupid behind D-Roy Cruz. What's wrong with you? Because I have a habit of saying things, and then I'm like, wait a minute, that wasn't the definition of that. But, you know, hey. Okay, so actually, a better male is a person who doesn't really care so much about the alpha. But he just lets things go by as whatever way they come. 
That's why there are more men that are beta males than there are alpha. Beta male or simply beta is a term derived. Are we in the right clicking here? Here we go. Derived from the designation for beta animals in ethology. Women. Ethology. The term has been frequently used in the manosphere along with its counterpart, alpha male, designating males that are not beta. So beta male, a man attending or attending to assume a passive or subservient role in social or professional situations. Okay, now that's a new definition. When it says, and I'll tell you that with these, these new definitions. Because this is not what we teach as Christians. Um, a man tending to assume a passive, that's what we teach in church, or a subservient role. But when you get down to this part, in social or professional situations, we don't relate a better male having anything to do with a professional situation because alpha males can be alpha males and be in a professional situation as well. Alpha males are not just people to join the military or people that um, go hunting. Alpha males are people that are very insensitive to all this feeling stuff. Feel, you know, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel. You're making me mad because you're making me feel like, well, well, you get on my nerves, Miss, Mr. Cruz, because you're making me feel. What is the point of what we're talking about? Forget your feelings, forget my feelings. What's the point? What's the point if I don't know what I'm supposed to be, if I don't know what my calling is in life, if I don't know, first of all, what the calling is of man. Now, in atheism, people don't care. Let me go back here. People don't care anymore, like it said, passive there. People are very passive today about what is truly necessary for us as a culture. We're passive about what we feel is truly honest, what we feel is truly needed to survive. We, we are so into this body that we only care about protecting ourselves from calamity. We only care about protecting ourselves from the, the cold and the sun. But we don't care about protecting ourselves from the other evils behind all that. We don't care about protecting us ourselves from attitudes and and uh, uh, forms of philosophy and the whispers in our ears, the, the subliminal messages that creep into our homes, creep into our ears, our schools, our music, okay, um, our art and everything, these subliminal messages coming in, we don't care about those things. We only care about, well, don't, don't, don't touch me. You're standing too close to me. But I don't really care about you spiritually. I only care about you within the limits of either I'm trying to get you to move away from me because I want all this to myself or I want you to come closer to me for some kind of gratification but never 
care about the other more spiritual issues around us that are there, and we know they're there, but if we say there is no God, then we can claim also that these other forms, that these other forces in the world are not there. If we claim that there is no God, then there is no spirit. If there is no spirit, we can't really judge a man for his attitude. But yet, when I get on YouTube, oh, he's so angry. When I get on YouTube, oh, he's looking like he got some. He looked like his mom used to beat him too much when he was a baby. He looked like he's depressed. Because you don't like what I have to say about the kingdom of God. And how that is above all the others. Because it is. And it's the truth. What is, on that note, a real atheist? What is a real atheist? I know what a real atheist is because I know what a real Christian is. Okay? A real atheist is someone who honestly does not believe in God. He doesn't feel that he has to explain it. He doesn't feel that he needs science. He doesn't feel that he needs philosophy. He doesn't feel that he needs any higher education in this area. He just simply doesn't believe in God. That's a real atheist. Someone who simply doesn't believe in God. And just like a Christian will tell, like I would tell a Jehovah's Witness, I don't believe in that. Yeah, I know what you're saying, man, but I really don't believe that. Just like when a Jehovah's Witness comes to me, I tell him I'm already a Christian. That is what I believe. You know, when I meet uh, females, um, I will befriend them for a certain amount of time and then when they um, start to ask me to cross the line, I have to let them know. That's when we have a conversation. I am Christian. I don't even have to put an A in there. I am Christian. Well, what's that got to do with it? Well, then you're not a Christian. If you was a Christian, you would know what that has to do with it. Nothing, you're not coming in my house. You definitely ain't coming in my bedroom. I am Christian. Sorry. It's more important to me to have God's approval than it is to have the world's pleasures. I kid you not. I can be your friend. But if you want to have a real conversation somewhere in there, I have to condemn you for being a fornicator. No offense to you. The two things. You said you were a Christian. And two, if you were a real Christian, if you were a real Christian, you would know that fornication is not practiced in our culture. There's all these people out there calling themselves Christians. Stop. If you cannot make the sacrifice against the way you 
feel. You, what, you don't think I want some coochie? I want to lay down with that little Asian girl that meets me down at the bus stop every Sunday so bad. And I looked at the way she dressed sometimes on a hot day. And I understand it's hot. But I look at the way she dressed and I'm trying to figure out where she's going that she needs to impress people in that manner. I would love to lay down with her. But I am Christian. So when I told another friend of mine at work, she was asking me about, you know, what I want to do. And, you know, I get this question from a lot, over half the women I meet that are around my age and probably about 20 years younger than me, I get this question. Are you married? Do you, do you have, do you have a wife? Um, you know, and, and sometimes they'll just assume, they'll just assume that I have a girlfriend. And I'm like, no, it's just me. And they find it hard to believe that it's just me at home. And I have to explain to them, I am Christian. I am Christian. You're either married or you're not. It's not that hard. You're either married or you're praying. Oh, God, help me today because I can't get the thoughts out of my mind, God. I, you know, we, we learn. And there's class. There's actually classes for this. There's even classes here on YouTube. How to escape being... Um, forced to uh, do things like masturbation. I'm just being honest, okay? Um, and I am a survival of masturbation and porn. Because all the time that I've been a Christian, whenever it, I've only been married once, and so you can just imagine just how strong I've become. Okay, I have not really spent that much time in fornication within the over 30 years that I've been a Christian. So uh, just imagine how strong I am. Just imagine how much your secular world doesn't mean a hill of beans to me by now at 53 years old. Okay. So when I tell you that I know what a real Christian is. Imagine how angry I get when fornicators tell me that they're Christians. And then these atheists want to come in there and say, now see, that's a Christian that I like. How is that a Christian that, that you like when you're trying to supposedly be a real atheist and he's a phony Christian? Because if you're a real Christian, you will make the sacrifice in closing. What sacrifice does atheists make to be atheists? Screenshot. Go ahead. I'll hold it for you. What sacrifice do atheists make that separates them as atheists? What sacrifice do atheists make that separates them as atheists? You believe in everything. You believe that the LGBTQ community is okay. You believe that, uh, you know, everything that ain't narcotic is okay to smoke and everything that is you know, you can drink anything you want to. You believe that all forms of dress codes and um, forms of art and music and, and everything is okay. Everything is okay with an atheist except a Christian. A Christian is not okay, but, you know what I'm saying, what am I going to do? Get up in the morning and turn on my computer and, and, and sleeping with minors is okay? 
It's just a matter of time, right? Just a matter of time. Just a matter of time. Just a matter of time. So are you a real atheist? Because we, a real Christian makes the sacrifice. You know what I'm saying? A real Christian makes a sacrifice to be a Christian. Not only does he make the sacrifice, but something happened to him. He is not the same person that he was, I don't know, five minutes ago to 50 years ago. Something has happened that has changed him. Where he don't want to be an atheist anymore. He don't want to go to that club anymore. He don't want to drink anymore. He don't want to smoke anymore. No, he's not going out with this girl tonight. No, he don't want to be gay anymore. No, he... Forget about all that transgender stuff he said. He don't think like that anymore. What sacrifice have you made that separates you as an atheist? Oh, well, I'm an atheist because I had to purify myself of all that Christian BS. I don't have to worry about going to hell anymore. If you don't have to worry about going to hell anymore, why do I have to why do I have to worry about a big bang? Prove to me that the big bang actually happened. I'll prove to you that hell exists. How about that? Oh, I'm not a I'm I don't I'm I'm not I'm an atheist. I don't have to worry about going to hell. I don't have to worry about all those morals and all the... Okay. Tell me one thing that's wrong with our morals. Now, with all that said, again, a real atheist is a person that is just simply a real atheist. There is no argument. There is no philosophy about it. There is no excuses for it. There is, you know, there's nothing there. I am simply an atheist because I don't believe in God and I don't see a reason to believe in God, okay? And no matter what you say, I'm sorry, I just don't believe it. So that makes him the one that is the endangered species. And us Christians are the aggressor. And if you're a real atheist, I will accept myself as being the aggressor to you, towards you. You're, we're the hunter, you're the prey. I'll play that game with you, if you're a real atheist. But, let's face it, these atheists on YouTube, trust me, if it wasn't for these atheists, I said this in a dozen videos, if it wasn't for these atheists interrupting me on YouTube, talking to other Christians about nothing to do with atheism. If it wasn't for atheists coming on a freaking guitar channel. Or coming on a channel talking about Hawaii. And somehow in there, there is no God. What's this have to do with that? This is what got me since 2013 getting on YouTube. This is what got me here. And then you think that, oh, because you find something hypocritical, some of you atheists, or you find something um, imperfect in what I say, that's going to make me stop. No, it's not. I'm on a mission here. Because I think a lot of these atheists on YouTube, including this Jarvis piece of trash, okay, are a bunch of hypocritical fakes. And I'm sorry, I'm not apologizing for it. I 
I see you up there in a little box looking down at me, Mr. Drag, the 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 the, the idol of drag, the 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 Ash Torah idol up there, the god of YouTube. I see you up there in a little box. How you doing? Good to see you tonight. I hate to be rebellious to you, but this is a fake. This is a fake. And half of y'all, atheists, are fakes. You're not real atheists. Because if you were real atheists, you wouldn't need to constantly, like this jerk, constantly taking shots to Christians, constantly coming after us. It's like that's all you do. Even this guy up here. All you do is just come after us. And who do you come after? You don't go after child molesters. You don't go after police brutality. You don't go after uh, racial issues. You were the atheists at when all this stuff was going on. No, 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 no. We are atheists. Our only war is against Christians. Everybody else can do whatever they want to do. We don't care about your race problems. We don't care about your political problems. We don't care about none of that other stuff that's going out there. Well, I'm not saying all atheists, but most of y'all. I mean... You know, let's say Devin Tracy. Devin Tracy is getting sick and tired of just talking about atheism. Okay? The last videos that I... Um, ever since Black Lives Matter showed up, Devin, <laughs> Devin Tracy is on a different mission. Okay? But most of y'all don't care about nothing that goes on in this world except Christians. That's not a real atheist because a real Christian doesn't care or need anyone to be an atheist so he can have an argument. He doesn't need anyone to go against anything against his Bible or lack of belief in his Bible, period, in order for him to be a Christian. I'm a Christian if everybody in this, in this neighborhood is a Christian. I'm still a Christian. And if everybody in this Neighborhood is totally against me. I'm still a Christian. If everybody on YouTube was Christian, I'm still a Christian. I don't need an opposition. But you atheists, you need an opposition. Because without an opposition, you are no atheists. But the police out there are not looking for crime in order to fight it. Every cop I know will say, if we can get through an eight-hour shift, if we can get through an eight-hour shift without nothing going wrong, and I can go home to my wife without a fight, I've done my justice. It's a beautiful day. Thank you, Jesus. And I'm not even a Christian. That's what a cop will say. I work with them every day. That's what they'll say. If I can get through eight hours without any crime happening. It's a beautiful day. But to an atheist, where will the atheist be when all the Christians are gone? Because one of these days, very soon, we will all be forced to go into hiding. Maybe not in your generation, sir, but in, in, in maybe the next one. We'll be forced to all go into hiding. Okay? And where will the atheists be then? Where will they be? Huh? You'll be hunting around for one little shred of evidence of a Christian. One little shred of evidence that a Christian might be somewhere lurking around. That is a fake atheist. That is just a person that persecutes Christians. That is a Roman centurion. That is a, a uh, person that's of the Baphomet religion. That is not a real atheist. A real atheist just doesn't believe in God and he doesn't care about the arguments. He just 
doesn't believe in God and he doesn't care. And I have met people that are atheists and they will listen to what you got to say and they'll say, I'm sorry, but I got to go. Because they don't need to argue and they understand that. They know that they are an atheist within their right to be an atheist. Just like I am a Christian within my right to be a Christian. But, and I've heard some of these real atheists get on YouTube and hate on other atheists because these atheists are always picking with people. Picking with everybody. Any shred of or talk about God or the Bible, even from a secular council, they just go off. And I've, and I've met some of these real atheists. There might be a couple on YouTube that really, really, really show the difference. Okay? D. Roy Cruz here, your life applications officer. I'm out of time. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more of these goodies. Thank you for subscribing. God bless you. Have a great night.